So to set up a remote control for your XBMC, the way to do that within the XBMC system is to go to go to the end setting where it says system and then go, go under settings and from settings you hit services and from services there's an option here that's called web server as well as remote control so uh, remote control you just want to make sure you want to allow programs on other systems to control XBMC and then the web server is the one that's gonna allow control of the web of the XBMC through HTTP so this will allow other devices to connect through your network using whatever port you want to identify here uh, selecting the username so by default it's XBMC but you can call it whatever you want as well as a password now some devices that uh, connect through this way through HTTP they're going to require a password so it is a good idea to set a password even though you might not necessarily need one um, it is always a good idea to have a password on your device and then you've got the, your, op your options here for the different web interfaces so by default it's the XBMC web interface uh, and that what this will do is when you go to that particular web address on your system this will show the XBMC web interface and a lot of the remote controls are designed to work off of that interface and ha they have their own skin and they have their own interface on it so this is the quick way to set up uh, a, a remote control on your mobile device and access your XBMC and control it from your mobile device so you'd be able to use the keyboard as well as any other kind of configuration that you've set up and there's a lot of different types of remote controls available from app stores uh, there's a bunch on Android uh, as well as iPhone so you just have to look at look through the Play Store uh, select them and then you could set it up this way as well as if you've got a computer that you wanted to control your XBMC with uh, you could just set this up and then just go to the computer's IP address forward slash the port and you'd be able to access the XBMC port. Thanks a lot for watching.